Hi YouTube, in this tutorial we're gonna animate some text with GSAP. This is the animation that we're gonna do. Now this animation is gonna use GSAP as the animation library split type to make the characters split and Webflow of course to showcase this. I've done a similar video before but this video is gonna showcase a very simple way to do this without the need of changing colors, adding overlays, uh, worrying about the background color. This is just dynamic, works with everything. So without further ado, let's jump to it. Okay, so first thing, let's understand the animation. Let's see what we're gonna do here. So we have this text that I want to animate from this point perhaps until this point where each letter gets uh, highlighted one by one. So I can start this at a lower opacity and then each letter gets back to the 100% opacity as I scroll through that part of the page that I specified. So we can do this perhaps manually by wrapping each letter with a span and then animating it one by one, but this could definitely take ages and it might break if you change or add more text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use split type JavaScript library. Now this library allows you to do exactly that, which is cut the text into different characters. So let's go to split type. So split type, I'm gonna leave these links in the description. So everything I'm showing here, you can find in the description. This video is video 16 as part of the 100 days of Webflow journey. If you're enjoying this type of content, do subscribe to the channel. A lot more is coming on the way. Now let's get back to it. So to use split type, we just need the CDN code here. And then of course, call split type in our code. So let's copy this CDN code and go back to our page. Now we're basically gonna cut these characters through split type and then give it to GSAP to animate on scroll. So we'll also need GSAP and we'll need scroll trigger plugin. So let's go to the page settings. Let's add this uh, split type script here and then let's go to GSAP. It's always recommended to go to GSAP to get the most up-to-date version of the CDN. Once you're there, you can go to installation and then scroll down to CDN and then you can choose the plugin that you want. In our case, it's scroll trigger and we can copy this part of the code which has both the library of GSAP and the scroll trigger plugin. So let's copy this one and let's go back to our project and let's paste it here as well. Next, we're gonna add a code snippet. Again, these codes and these links are gonna be in the description so you can find them there. So this snippet is a very small snippet. We're calling the GSAP plugin, the scroll trigger plugin, and then we're cutting the characters or splitting the characters of the text that has this class, scroll highlight. So let's copy this class without the dot here and um, we're gonna use it later on on our text. So we'll give this class to any text that we want to animate this way. Now we're animating when the top of the text or of this paragraph is at 80% of the page. So again, if you see here, uh, this, is, this is somehow 80% more or less, and then it ends when the top is at 20. So that will be somewhere here. So the top at like uh, 20%. And then what happens is uh, from animation and then from 0.2 opacity, so 20% opacity with a stagger of 0.1 between each character. Now, finally, we can save and then we can add the scroll highlight combo class to our text so that we specify which text to animate. Now we can add this more than once on the page and it will animate the same way, but in our case, we just have this. So let's publish and see how this works out. All right, so now we go on the live version as we scroll down, you can see that each letter is animating one by one in a very smooth and nice way. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys liked it, do subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow on day 17.